best friend Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drifting to deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the moon Hello everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi. My name is Katie, I live in Orlando and I do all Shop With Me videos, home decor videos. I love shopping for home decor at like Marshalls, Target, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Kirkland's, World Market, any stores that sell home decor. So, so if you love home decor videos, decorating videos, you're definitely going to love it here. So please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I am so excited about today's video. Today is my fall and Halloween decorate with me for 2021. We're doing it all in one video. I'm gonna give you my fall decor, my Halloween decor, show you my entire house transformed into a pumpkin spice wonderland. A Little bit of a preview behind me. Normally for my intros, I try to do them like way more like set up and just like so professional but I've been decorating all day and it's such cozy vibes in my house that I just wanted to bring those cozy vibes right into my intro. If you missed it yesterday, I posted a massive collective fall decor haul. So if you wanna know where all of this stuff is from, I talked about it in a video already. It will be linked for you down below. And if you're interested in seeing all the fall decor I've already shopped, a ton of my Shop With Me videos will be linked down below. Basically my entire channel has been like a fall and Halloween channel for the last few weeks. So if you're interested in seeing what else is out there, definitely make sure to check down below. There will also be all the links for everything I showed in my collective haul. So if you're interested in some of these items and wanting to know where they're from, definitely check the link in the description. Go back and watch my collective haul so you can get all the details on everything and pricing. That is like a very in-depth video on all of the items that I'm gonna be using to decorate because I won't be really touching on that today. So if you wanna know all that information, just go back and watch that video when you are done here. So we're gonna start outside in. So we are doing full Halloween at our front door and then the inside is like all fall, fall colors, pumpkin spice, oranges, reds, all that good stuff on the inside. So we're gonna head outside first and we're gonna get started with all of the Halloween decor and I will see you back at the end of this long, beautiful journey. It came together so well, so please make sure you stay and watch until the end. I love you guys so much and let's get into it. excited to show you how I transformed our apartment, our humble abode, into a literal pumpkin spice and fall Halloween oasis. I started off by kind of just clearing out everything that was already at my front door, giving it a good sweep, and getting everything all cleared off and ready to be decorated. I am repurposing some items that we already have, like the little outdoor table, just so that I could save a little bit of money. And the first thing I was dying to set up was my little Halloween tree. If you watched my fall decor haul it will be linked down below you'll see that I got this at the at-home store last year on clearance but they do still have items like this this year I don't know if you guys are anything like me but I absolutely despise fluffing trees I love everything about Christmas and I love this little ode to Christmas but I just hate fluffing trees I find it to be the most tedious annoying process ever definitely let me know down below if you feel the same way as me I will 
Okay, total real talk moment for a second. I totally didn't realize I should have bought battery operated lights or I guess I didn't realize I didn't buy battery operated lights. So I would be lying to you if I did not say that there wasn't like 17 extension cords making this lit tree happen right now. But anyways, onto the ornaments. I absolutely love this pack of ornaments. It was such a good deal for all of these at the at home store. They have so many great fall items and I just loved the way that they looked on this little tree. They were the perfect size for this little miniature Halloween tree. And if you watched my fall decor haul, yeah, I totally had to steal the hooks off of some Christmas ornaments, but a lot of you gave some really awesome tips in the comments saying that I could use paper clips as a replacement or some really fun Halloween ribbon. I thought those were really great ideas, but I definitely wanted to let you know about all of these tips just in case you ever find yourself in the same predicament that I found myself in. getting into the fun stuff here the 3d bats and spider pack that I bought off of Amazon they come with the little stickers and they also have these little divots in them so that you can bend the wings and the legs to make it look like they're literally coming off whatever surface you want to put them on I knew I wanted them cascading up from the bottom of the door but I decided I would start it here on this little ottoman also because it just gave it a little bit of spice I figured the easiest way to do this would just be to lay them all out and do it all at once put all the adhesive on because like I mentioned I don't really enjoy things that are tedious so whatever way I can just kind of get it all done at once to get to the fun part that is what works for me and then I just kind of started arranging them on my door any rhyme or reason I didn't have any but I had such a fun time putting these on I had just the perfect amount I actually did have some left over but I didn't want to put too too many or just start sticking them all these random places and then I did decide to bend some of the bats wings just to give some of them that 3d look Keep it low key. Got me drugged. Your pheromones hit the roof. Auto your taste. Just going ahead and adding the finishing touches. If you want to know where everything is from, go ahead and watch my fall decor haul. It is linked down below, but I am just so in love with the finished product. I feel like it's a lot, but at the same time, not too much. Like it's just right. And I just absolutely love how it came out and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about it down in the comments below. Telling you that I need you. But you're off my radio now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow Heading into the main living area, we are headed to Pumpkin Spice Land. It's a one-way train. I did want to give you a little shot of the before in case you haven't seen any of my other videos of how my apartment is decorated, but I had to be out with the old to make room for the new, but not before giving our couch a little bit of love. I know I'm going to get questions in the comments, so this is the Savesto couch from Ashley's. I know it has other names at other furniture stores, but if you Google the Savesto couch, I do think that you will be able to find it at a furniture store near you if you don't have Ashley's furniture. We absolutely love this couch. We loved that it was similar slouchy look to the cloud couch, but it still has the structured transitional, but also kind of modern feel and the color is perfect. We love that you can easily wash all of the cushion covers and it has been great to us, so I can't recommend it enough. Is it really a bad reception out there? Where are you heading?
finishing touch to this whole couch setup for me was absolutely this Target Dollar Spot fall pillow. You will all find it, I promise. I go to an abnormal amount of Targets every single week, which is why I've already found it, but I promise it is coming to a Target near you. Don't give up the faith, you will find this adorable Target Dollar Spot pillow, as well as this one, which I just use as a perfect little decoration for my accent chair. took one floral arrangement off of my coffee table. I really liked how that looked, so I knew I wanted to do the same thing, but just in all fall colors. Everything that I am using right here is from Joann's. The little vase is from their summer collection, so I actually got it for 70% off, and all of these little stems were also 40% off. So definitely don't sleep on Joann's. Go and check out what they have for fall decor, because I think that you will be pleasantly surprised. What do you mean, boy? I try to figure out what's on your mind. If you don't yet have a coffee table basket, I highly recommend that you get one. It is the perfect home for coasters, little candy dishes like this, candles, sometimes I store my headphones because I like to work from the couch, and of course, TV remotes. It's the perfect combination of functional but also stylish. As you can see, I really struggled to figure out what I wanted to do with this space. I was pretty sure I wanted to keep the tray, but I just wasn't sure what I wanted to put on it. I thought I wanted to keep some sort of stem in the stem jars, but I struggled a lot. And I wanted to keep these clips in to show you that honestly, I'm making it up as I go and just hoping that it looks good in the end. I am not perfect. I am human. I just have a passion for decorating and I'm so glad that you guys allow me to share that with you. that this entire entertainment center came together. I feel like it is simple enough but has all of the fall vibes that I wanted and I'm really excited to hear what you guys think about it down below. Shooting me with words but I will let them bruise. The entryway area was an area I was most excited to decorate. It's one of the newer areas in our apartment if you have followed my Decorate With Me journey and it has changed quite a bit since I did that video so I was really excited to spruce it up for the fall. First off using this clearance find blanket in this blanket basket. Honestly it looked so cute. The blanket was a little bit small for the basket but with enough fluffing I think I got it just right. This space has become a home for the custom cigar box I got for Brian as well well as this wine decanter. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of questions about what this contraption is and it is actually a wine decanter. We are members at the Cooper's Hawk Winery. We love it and Santa brought us this wine decanter last year.
I am happy to report that this candle is the most amazing candle ever. From Kirkland's, only $10 a piece and better than Bath & Body Works. I'm creating an arrangement out of stems from all different stores. Honestly, what I like to do is just kind of like not braid them together but weave them together until they create this really cohesive and beautiful arrangement i don't know if that's the proper technique but that's how i do it and i think that it came out beautiful i will look at you and tell you that i'm all right like a ricochet it will come back to you because i don't care about you anymore So you can't hurt me like you did before this wooden tray on our kitchen island is such a focal point in our apartment. When you walk in and down the hallway, you immediately see the beautiful quartz countertop with this tray. So it was really important for me to get the decorating on this just right. like the general layout I had on it before I just felt like it worked really well and it was super balanced so I kind of wanted to work off of the old layout that I had while adding in the new fall items of course here I am another candy jar more M&Ms if you guys know me you know Brian and I both have huge sweet tooths it's a problem but it's fine because you know it's the holidays we did have a candle on the original setup so I knew I wanted to add another candle back in I chose pumpkin spice again but they have tons of options at home goods TJ Maxx and Marshalls if you are looking for one yourself. I also knew I wanted to add in more fall foliage. This arrangement from Hearth and Hand is perfect. It does come in a smaller size if that is what you are looking for. But honestly, I was kind of shuffling everything around trying to figure out where I wanted to put it. It's truly all trial and error. Here you get the thinking finger tap, a classic. And then it finally hit me to add in some of the fall stems that I had purchased into arrangements that I already own. And it worked so well. This is such a good money saving tip adding seasonal stems to the arrangements that you already have to make them work for that season highly recommend you said, yeah it kind of broke my heart loving you is not so goddamn easy as you think i'm trying my best to hold on but i feel myself giving you know that we shouldn't keep it up like this we hurt each other's feelings on and on i don't want to change who you are you say it's always one step too far But I know that I've played my part I'm hurting you as well I guess that we should say we're sorry Say we're sorry Say we're sorry I guess that we should say we're sorry to do just some simple and easy decorating changes to make this space more fall appropriate of course i wanted to change out our kitchen towel i used to have a really weird obsession with kitchen towels i've done a really good job at scaling that back but definitely let me know down below if you have an obsession with kitchen towels i just used to like collect them and buy them like excessively luckily i don't do that anymore and then i just wanted to change out some of the decor in our basket on the table you will notice i did not do a full fall tablescape I just felt like it wasn't realistic for us in our lifestyle I might consider doing one for Christmas but I just wasn't interested in doing one for the fall but I did want to change out the florals I did go ahead mix some of the florals that we already had in with some fall tones just to make it more appropriate for the fall again I did use that same weaving technique just to kind of blend it all together and make it look more cohesive The 
these shelves right here are truly the first thing you see when you walk into the apartment. I knew that this whole area was really going to set the tone for the rest of the fall decor throughout the entire apartment. This I wanted to keep really simple. I wanted to keep the same pompous grass I already had, which I really don't like this pompous grass. Please let me know if you have some pompous grass that you recommend. This is from World Market and I just, I don't know, it looks so fake and I really don't like it. So please let me know if you have one that you love. But I did just go ahead and stick in these little pumpkins that I found at Home Goods in there just to give it a little bit of fall flair. Stop. Yeah, I know I did you wrong. But I these shelves and really just any shelves in general are so challenging because you want to have varying heights to keep visual interest. And honestly, removing that last plant and adding the stem jar with all the flowers to me just was an aha moment that pulled the entire thing together. Give me a try I'm sorry For making you feel like You're not good enough Cause you're the best You know I'm sorry For making you feel like you're not I saved this space for last Because I have never shown this room on my YouTube channel So this is actually our guest room But it also doubles as Brian's office for both of those reasons, I decided to keep the decor in here super minimal, but I still wanted to add some little Halloween pops. He didn't want anything too crazy, but I just couldn't help myself. So I just added in a couple little accent pieces just to make sure the vibes were all throughout the apartment. And it's Brian approved. I just wanted to add just a little bit. Alrighty everyone, we made it, what a journey. Please let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite part of the video, what's your favorite part that I decorated. Mine is definitely my entryway table. I'm obsessed with that like coppery, bronzy colored acorn. I just love the way that all came together. But please let me know down below what was your favorite part. If you love this video and you haven't yet, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my future videos. You can also hit the notification bell if you wanna get a notification every time I post four times a week on Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. But that is going to be it for me. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Happy fall.